Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another budget video. Today I am doing my week two check-in for my July budget. So we're just gonna jump right into things here. This week, I don't know, I did a lot of unbudgeted spending. To be completely honest, I should have went ahead and made a category for stationery slash planner stuff and I think I'm gonna implement that next month because that was pretty much where most of my extra spending went. Um, yeah, it was really bad. I bought like pens and um, Erin Condren sticky notes that I found at Target. Like what? So I not only did I buy like a bunch of random stationary items, but I also bought myself a laminator because, you know, being a teacher, that just seems to be something that I need. And also like I don't have access to the laminator at my school. So I just thought why not buy myself a cheap laminator so I can easily make things from home when I need to and that sort of thing. So I definitely did some extra spending on things that I absolutely did not need. I mean I got some more of my Sharpie pens because my other ones were running out of ink. I bought some mild liner pens because I decided to do like a mild liner week in my daily duo planner. Yeah, it, it, yeah. So needless to say, I probably should have made myself a budget for planner stuff and I think I'm gonna start doing that month to month just so I can kind of like make sure I reel myself in a little bit and know my limit. So there's lots of yellow and I'm not too happy about it, but we're just gonna see how this affects my monthly budget. So I'm gonna go ahead and check these off because apparently I forgot to do that, but I did already include those in my weekly check-in from last week. Okay, so we're gonna start with groceries first. As you can see, I didn't buy any groceries at all. So, I get to say zero. That's a really good feeling. So I, like I said, I was pretty sure my groceries would last me for the first half of the month. They totally did and I still have plenty. I do need to go to the grocery store um, for week three and four because I have, I've run out of just a lot of normal things like milk and ketchup and stuff like that. So I'm definitely gonna have to make a second trip, but I really don't feel like I need to buy a whole lot in the way of meals because I did a really good job of like eating leftovers this week. And, um, I also did eat out a couple of times, which wasn't the best choice, but Hey, I didn't overspend in groceries this week at all. So that is a win for me. So that means I still have 10307 left over. And then remaining per week, I have 5154. And last week I just included that like as my last two weeks. So I'm just basically bringing it down. All right, so going over to eating out, that would be purple. So let's go ahead and calculate this. 860, we got some pizza um, on Thursday. And then on Sunday, we ate some Five Guys. That was totally spontaneous, but I was just feeling like a good old burger. And I spent so much because I also bought some for my boyfriend and I, Normally I'd make him pay me back, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. It'll just motivate me to not spend really any more money eating out for the rest of the month. So that definitely doubled up my spending. And then I also got some coffee with a friend on Tuesday. So I'm including that in my eating out budget. So that means I spent a total of $34.15. I'm gonna zoom in. I always feel like I forget to do this for you guys, but. 15. So I have been budgeting $15 a week on eating out. So that is not good. So I had 46, 43 left over from last week. So now this leaves me with only $12 and 28 cents left for the month per week. If we divide that into two weeks leaves me $6 and 14 cents, which I could afford like some McDonald's with that, which I don't really eat McDonald's. So <laughs> we're gonna try to avoid that. All right, 
So then moving on here, try to adjust it as I go. Let me check those off. Little Caesars, Five Guys, and coffee. So next we're gonna go to gas slash car. I didn't spend any money on gas this week. So that is a good thing. We're just gonna put zero dollars. Total remaining would be 32.10. And then remaining per week would, would be, let's see, 32.10 divided by two would be 16.05. All right, and then we are going over to personal care. Let me go ahead, oh, I didn't have anything there. So personal care, I spent $4 at Target and that was actually for some more masks. So I just included that in the personal care budget. So I'm already way over on my personal care. So that is $199.35 negative minus $4 would be negative 203.35. Alright, and then we're just gonna go like that because really I have nothing remaining per week. And then here we get into unbudgeted, which is going to kill me. I'm honestly ashamed. Okay, so we have 2069 plus 7068, whoops, plus 2064 plus 1804. Oh my gosh, guys, $130.05. So per week, we're looking at $80.31 and the negative minus $130.05. Oof, you guys. You know what? This is real life though. Like I am a spender and it's something that I'm seriously working on. At least I'm trying, but at least you guys can see that I'm being 100% honest with you. So yeah, it was successful in some ways and not in others. You know, I'm managing to stay in my budget for groceries and for gas. I really need to just try not to eat out for the rest of the month. Um, so I'm good in those areas, but obviously when it comes to the unbudgeted category, I am way over. So I'm gonna continue to challenge myself to cut back and uh, we're gonna hope for the best. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As I mentioned, I am being 100% honest with you and I hope <laughs> that you guys um, are nice to me and um, as you can see, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough month, but that's okay. We're gonna try and reel it back in for the rest of the month and really, really limit that spending. So thank you guys again. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I do upload new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.